Hello, your tech admin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the annoying rattling fan problem that uh, seems to happen to most of the Dell Dimension 4600 desktop computers. Now, you're going to need a couple of things to fix this. Um, the main thing is two um, bolts with matching nuts. You're going to need two sets. And if I can find my other set here. There's somewhere out there it is. So you're going to need two. Um, you're going to also need a screwdriver, um, pliers, bigger pliers, uh, some vice grips wouldn't be bad, and um, a precision, precision flathead screwdriver. Um, and you know, something like this. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, first off, you're going to need to open your uh, computer up by pulling back this little latch here and sliding up like that. And then it'll come right off. Alright, now, once you have it open, you're going to see this little green um, fan cover over here. Now what you're going to do is, with this is pick straight up on it until it goes back as far as it can and then simply pull the tabs off so that it comes straight off. Alright, once you have that off, you're going to need to undo the fan cable which is right here. Right there. You're just going to push in the right side of it and pull it straight up. Like that. Alright. Now that you've got that off, you're going to simply take the fan, and on this side of the fan, I don't know if you can see there or not, but right there is a little um, clip. You're going to pull that up and slide the fan back, and it will come straight off, just like that. Okay, so now that you had the fan completely off, you can pull it completely out like so. And... Uh, Alright. Um, once you get it off, you're going to have... The uh, cable is going to be threaded through this little plastic part. Um, simply pull that out like so. Alright, so that you get something like this. And on the front side of the fan, you'll notice these... Uh, little rubbery things and uh, that's what actually holds the fan inside of the fan casing so this is what you're going to need your precision screwdriver for you're going to simply take and um, press these little bits in kind of like poke them down inside the little holes the best you can like that and do this on all four of them now you don't want to actually try to pull this apart because you'll break one like I did so there you pull that free and then you have the fan the Daytech fan which most people called in the deal getting replaced because they thought the source of the rattling was from the actual fan which it wasn't it was from the way that uh, Dell mounted the uh, actual fan in the computer with uh, just like a, a clip-in kind of a thing and not actually bolting it to the case which allowed it to rattle over time. So to fix this we're simply going to take the existing little bolts, bolt holes on the uh, fan as you see here on the ca outer casing there are also bolt holes and on the actual outside of the case itself, there are bolt holes. So, we're pretty much just going to do what Dell should have done from the start and bolt the fan straight to the case. But it's going to be a little tricky because of this extra stuff that Dell has going on. So what you're going to do is you're going to run one of your bolts through one corner and another one through the other. Like so. 
now we're gonna drop this back over this here make sure you run your cable through the uh, little hole in the side of the casing there like that all right okay so like I said I did break one of my little rubbery things and it likes to come out out If you break one, it's okay, you know, just try not to break all of them. Alright. So, there we go. Make sure your bolts haven't come out. And, uh, you're simply going to press this down and pull up on them slightly until the little rubber parts come back through. And this is the hard, the crucial part that you don't knock your screws back down into the fan casing. Alright, so you're going to have to hold your fan just like this the whole time so that you don't accidentally knock them back through. Alright, now that we got it the way we want it, it's time to uh, put it back in the casing. This is also going to be tricky because of the uh, fact that we can't let those screws come out. So it's going to sit like this. Pull my bolts here to make sure they're still back the way I want them. All right. You're going to need to carefully line up the corners of the snaps, and then and then. Slide it sideways. There. Now that you have it like that, you're going to need to carefully pick the whole machine up and put it on its side so that the screws fall through the holes. Now this is the tricky part. You may need to rattle it a little. Okay, so once you get your screws through, here I'll show you what it should look like. So as you can see, I've got my screws through. Okay, one right there. And one right there. Sorry for the low lighting. Anyway, once you get your screws through, um, you're going to want to go ahead and thread your bolts on. But, um, as you can see, the uh, head of the screw is on the inside of the machine, and the end is on the outside. So how are you going to thread these bolts on? Well, that's what you need your pliers for. You're going to easily grab the bolt as far back as you can with the pliers, and very carefully thread the bolt on. Alright, we're going to do this for both of these. Can't see the other one, but uh, it's the same process. Just pull the bolt out as far as you can with your fingers, grab it with the pliers, and thread the bolt on. Be careful with the pliers to make sure you don't damage the screw, thus making it impossible to screw the uh, nut on.